The Hy-Vee grocery store in Waukee, Iowa, makes fresh salsa by the gallon. Separating the seeds and stems from vegetables generates a lot of food waste, which normally has a single destination, the local landfill. Hy-Vee, which operates 245 grocery stores in eight Midwestern states, is among several companies seeking alternatives to sending organic waste to landfills. The zero waste goal is a growing trend among businesses and has opened a market opportunity for the recycling company. We are a company that takes food waste that uh, would normally go into the landfill. It'd be put into a trash dumpster, and instead of going to the trash dumpster, it goes into our orange bins. We pick it up either once or twice a week, depending on the account, and it gets taken down to our site in Edibilava where it's composted. As the volume of material available for composting increases, the demand for inexpensive compost also is growing. Green RU has targeted their compost for landscaping and residential locations, as well as a soil amendment in agricultural settings. According to Hyvee officials, composting is favored by customers and employees instead of sending food waste to a local landfill. A grocery store generates a large amount of waste in nominal terms. Employee participation is a key to diverting appropriate waste into the compostable stream. That our employees felt very engaged in the whole sustainability effort. They knew the value of diverting to lower the methane uh, that is coming out of the landfill. They understand the importance of lowering your carbon footprint. And to work for an employer that cares about that is important to them. So we know it's more the right thing to do is to maximize our opportunities for landfill diversion. The grocery industry estimates that 15% of the food that comes into a supermarket will go unsold, which can translate to 30,000 pounds of material into the composting stream each month. Products are routinely pulled from shelves ahead of their sell-by dates. Some of the pulled products are distributed to social service groups and nonprofits that focus on food insecurity. Our first priority is to get the edible, unsellable to consumers who can use it. Once it gets to the point of spoilage, that it's no longer viable for human consumption, then we put that in the landfill diversion. 90% of hy V stores have a compost stream, which generates 17 million pounds of material each year. Compostable materials are collected in the back of the store in a separate dumpster from the landfill-bound trash. A custom-built service truck from Green RU empties the specialized receptacle several times a week, depending on the volume of waste the store generates. Trucks travel with their own water supply for cleaning the empty dumpsters after each load. More than 200 tons of organic waste a week is blended with ground wood products to achieve a specific mix that encourages the decomposition process. At this 18-acre Green RU facility near Eddyville, Iowa, windrows 700 feet long are slowly turned to aerate the organic material. Some compost recipes can become finished product in as little as eight weeks, while others require 12 to 14 weeks to finish. Food waste is valuable to the chemistry of composting, with its high nitrogen and moisture content. The nitrogen and water speed the decomposition process. As decomposition proceeds, the carbon to nitrogen ratio shifts from 30 to 1 to the 15 to 1 range, which is valuable for both agricultural and residential consumers. While demand for finished compost is important, hy V officials are always seeking a competitive rate compared to sending everything to the landfill. Cost neutrality may be a long-term advantage produced by Green RU. The company essentially bids for different types of compostable waste using a sliding fee scale. Some waste streams are more valuable to Green RU for what the stream brings to the composting process. As landfill tipping fees increase over time, the composting option may make more and more economic sense. Slowing the volume of waste destined for landfills means lower garbage costs for homes and businesses and fewer acres of rural America devoted to the burying of trash. For hy V, reducing the waste stream also involves bringing to market what otherwise would be thrown away. Robinson Fresh, one of the largest food distributors in the country, has introduced a line of produce branded Misfits. 
where all of the cosmetically challenged fruits and vegetables, which typically are discarded into landfills, are rescued and are repackaged and brought to uh, retail op operations like Hy-Vee, where we sell these misfit produce um, at a discount. And it's, it's a program that is done very, very well, and it resonates extremely well with the consumers. The Misfit line of produce is discounted at least 30% compared to the visually perfect fruits and vegetables sold in the rest of the produce department. Hy-Vee sells an average of 250,000 pounds per month of produce that would have otherwise been sent to a Minnesota landfill. We know that the consumer, this is important to a lot of the consumers, and so that's why it's important that we continue to build on this and promote this program so that one and a half million pounds becomes five million pounds next year. A five million pound reduction in the produce waste stream by consumers looking for a deal. For Market to Market, I'm Peter Tubbs.